Hey guys, welcome to day 20 of my real-time playthrough of Persona 4 Golden. So Yukiko is going to be recovering soon, and no one was on the Midnight Channel last night. So let's go ahead, jump in, and continue playing. So we're going to wrap up yesterday so we can get synced up with today. So we're going to go watch TV in our room. Let's go ahead and fast forward through, since, through all of this since we saw it last night, or yesterday I mean. And yeah, so no one on TV. Meanwhile, at the Fog Shrouded Shopping District. Oh, we also saw this as well. So we see a figure go into the fog, and then that's about it. And then now, we're synced up with today. Okay, Yuki goes back at school. That's definitely a good sign. Oh, good morning. Let's say feeling better. Or let's say morning, you know. Keep it casual, not focus on her being yes. recently okay. thrown into a TV I'll world. everyone some real trouble I'm sorry no sorry isn't quite right okay yeah what I mean to say is thank you I was gonna say she Yukiko seems more cheerful than before My mother's back to work yeah I was gonna say she definitely has a bit of a victim mentality if she's like man I'm sorry I got almost murdered and it's like no need to apologize too hard. I may have been too caught up in the idea that I had to do everything myself Ever since the incident, I feel like I can think about these things more calmly. But it's still kind of embarrassing. You guys saw everything, even the things I didn't want to admit. Alright, this seems like a pretty sensitive point of discussion, so let's make sure we answer it correctly. Let's say everyone's like that, because I mean, we've already seen Yosuke's and Chie's side of it. I mean, I didn't have one, oh. but, you know, I'm the protagonist, so. Oh, it's Chie! Well, I'll talk to you later. Yukiko has come back as energetic as ever. It's a good thing you were able to save her. I mean, if that's as energetic as ever, I'm like, she must have been... I don't remember her being so low energy before the whole TV fiasco. Hmm... Yukiko-san is back. That's good. I'm glad the only cutie in the class was able to return. Wouldn't you guys agree? Okay. F Wait. Okay. For a moment, I was like, oh, I, g I was like, that's weird to say if Yukiko's in the class. I go, oh, I guess she must not be. But then I'm like, she's right there, like, the closest to the screen. Oops. I mean, all of you are cute. No, really. All right, just, just move on to something else. Or please don't tell your parents that I said that, will ya? I don't want to get in trouble. Ahem. Anyway, I have an interesting topic for you today. Close your books and take a look at the handout. Sounds like a good time to pick on the city boy, Yukun. What is the greatest canyon in the solar system? That'd be Valus Mar Marineris. Marinera. You gave the answer you think is correct. Wow, you really are from the city. Well, I guess that doesn't have anything to do with it. Ha 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 ha. The Valles Marinera is on, on Mars is ten times larger than the Grand Canyon. Mars also hosts Olympus Mons, the largest mountain in the solar system. Both the highest mountain and the greatest canyon are on Mars. Isn't that useful information? I mean, not particularly. Since you got me started on canyons, I'm going to cover some material on their characteristics. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. All right, got even more knowledge, although we're already maxed out on everything. Sorry to keep you waiting. The soap was yours, right, Chie? Thanks. Oh, that smells so good. These instant noodles are just the thing to help me through club. How much longer do I have to wait on this? It still needs a few minutes. So why are we here? Oh yeah, we were gonna ask Yukiko what happened. Yukiko-san, I hate to bring up stuff you'd rather not think about, but I need to ask you again. Did you recall anything about when you got kidnapped? No. I thought I might remember something if I let it sit for a while, but as time passes, it only gets hazier. I think... the doorbell rang at the entrance, and someone called for me. But when I woke up after that, I was already in the castle. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. But does this mean her visitor is the culprit? 
I don't know. If it's true, then that's one daring criminal. What kind of killer would ring the doorbell? The police are probably looking for witnesses, but I don't think we can expect much from them. <laughs> All right, so whoever the killer is, they know how doorbells work. Whoever it is would do stuff like this. We won't know until we confront them ourselves. But we can be sure of one thing. It's no coincidence that people keep ending up in that place. Someone on our side is definitely kidnapping them and throwing them into the TV. It's murder, all right. I mean, I almost fell into the TV world like oh, yeah. the first night I, I discovered it. So I feel like it could be coincidence, but the police are out of their league on this case. But we got Persona. We saw that shadowy figure in the fog, and I'm like, all right, this is something serious now. Let's say, never fear, we'll get him. Sounds a little bit too much like a superhero, oh, but, you know, okay. sometimes the situation calls for it. Too. I can't believe someone would throw people into a place like that. I'm gonna sock whoever's doing this. Chie. All right, some more idle chatting. Let me help too. I want to know why this is happening. Especially if someone hates me so much they want to kill me. I don't want to run away from myself anymore. All right. Then let's all work together and catch this asshole. Agreed. Yukiko joined the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. All right. Leveled up another social link. So rank 2 of the Fool Arcana. The investigation team social link has reached level 2. Your power to create personas of the Fool Arcana has grown. But how are we going to find them? We don't have a single lead yet! I'm the third one to be targeted so far, but I have a feeling this isn't the end of it. If we had an idea of who might be targeted next, wouldn't we have an advantage over the killer? So we'll outsmart them, huh? Yeah, that might work. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out what ties the victims together. First, there was that announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Second, was Saki Konishi, senpai. Third, was Yukiko Amagi. What do they all have in common? I mean, I guess let's focus on the Eneba part. Bingo. Plus, they're all women. That's unforgivable. The culprit's gotta be some kind of pervert. Also, what about this? The second and third victims had some sort of connection to the first one. Hey, that's right! Yukiko and Saki-senpai both had connections to that announcer! That's true. Then, does that mean females connected in some way to Miss Yamano's case are being targeted? I think that's a safe assumption for now. There's another angle we can take, too. If another person disappears. You think they'd be on that midnight channel? That happened right before Yukiko was kidnapped too. Yeah. It's hard to tell who at first, but what's important is, it's happened before the victims disappeared. Kinda like a ransom note. We still don't know why that happens, but we'll have to rely on it for now. The next time it rains. It seems that the Midnight Channel is their only means of predicting who will be kidnapped next. I mean, I could just look up the guide and let you know. You must remember to watch it on the next rainy night. By the way, aren't those done by now? Oh, hey, Moy, how's it going? Whoa, that's right! Chow time! Yeah, I'm glad we're getting to a day that actually has more story progression hey, rather than just like go to school, to do an event, read. That's it for the day. Yeah, Robin's pretty good. The delicious aroma from the udon bowl is drifting your way. Do you want to try some? All right, we can't say no. Let's go ahead and try a bite, not eat too much of it. All right, he's got the ramen. He's taking a bite. So good. The aroma, the flavor, and the texture all combined. This is perfect. Yeah, Yosuke's eating a lot. It's too delicious to stop eating. <laughs> okay. There's nothing I can do. What the hell are you doing? 
I mean, they obviously, they obviously haven't seen me do the Eye of All Rainy Day Challenge. You ate everything! My fried tofu. I hope you guys understand what this means! Oh, wait, 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 stop! Alright, we're gonna be the victim of the next victim of Shio's martial arts training. You hear me? The very best! Steak? My tofu. Come on, Yukiko! There's steak in it for us now! We can eat instant noodles anytime we want, right? Well, as long as it isn't too fatty. Okay, we've reached the verdict. You are hereby sentenced to buying us steak. What wouldn't be too fatty? Filet? Ooh, filet sounds nice and expensive. Filet, 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 filet mignon! Hey, you've got a pony up too. You're just as much to blame. I mean, I chose to try a bite, not chow down. Man, talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. We're doing How convenient. To this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. That's just the yakisoba griddle. Oh well, steak is steak. It's I guess Tunis really does have everything. Though. I'm starting to get Nanako's obsession with it. I'll eat it. I'm still mad. So back on topic. I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. But Masuzu Hiragi had a solid alibi, didn't she? And it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. Really? You know an awful lot about this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki-senpai. She found the announcer's body. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target senpai? Let's see. Let's say... I don't think it was coincidence, you know? I think basic storytelling, you would try to not have that. Let's see. Let's say it's probably to keep her quiet. Think so too. Maybe she found a I feel like saying it was to shut her up about a woman that recently died and was a fellow student is a little harsh, but you know, we're dealing with the killer, so I think we need to I, I think now's not the time to hold back. Man, I thought the countryside would be a snooze, but it's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Oh, they updated the menu. Huh? Isn't he that detective? Hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanako-chan? Yo. I'm kind of surprised how newsworthy it is when he's like, hey, he's going to be leaving on time today. He's like, spread the word. Let Nanako know. Well, the public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. Sorry to butt in. But could it be that the killer targeted... I don't know why I need to tell Nanako. I feel like it's going to be on the news report tonight. Um, you sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes. <laughs> of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh. I might have stumbled across something here. Wait, are you listening to all that? Crap, me and my big mouth. Uh, don't tell anyone I said any of that, or Dojima-san will flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. So all right, I feel convinced now. You were right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. Ah! My steak's getting cold! Could you shut up about the steak for five seconds? You waited for the two to finish eating, then decided to go into the TV world. I mean, I feel like that was... They, like, made that decision pretty quickly, but I feel like going into the TV world is a bit of a... a big... risk, especially with people... Wow. someone going to go missing into it soon. Oh yeah, I forgot Yuki has never been here. Well, she was here, but not in a... not under good circumstances. I did what you said. 
I've been a good bear. Oh, I see. Good boy. All right, getting a little weird well, here. This bear's part of the reason we want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now too. Let's work together, okay? Yep. <laughs> Let's make fun of her for not having glasses. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki Chan. Okay, we're gonna run out of time. Our opportunity is gonna end. Oh, Dang it, it's too late. What everyone's wearing. Thank you, Teddy. You're right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. I've lived here for a long time, so I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. I see. But Does he... don't you need a pair? Okay. Ooh, good point. Another great question. Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. You didn't know? Of course not. <laughs> Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. I'm a really dexterous bear. See how smoothly my fingers move? Teddy's delicately moving his fingertips. I feel like that's a what sense I did at? not expect to show up throughout this whole game playthrough. Hmm? You dropped something. Oh, that's a pair I kind of screwed up on. Ooh. <laughs> Y you Classic. <laughs> How do I look? Let's say, let's say, looks natural on you. <laughs> awesome. Do you like that one, Yuki-chan? I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose guard. The oh, only no thing is, I had those Groucho Marx glasses How as a kid, and the plastic inside the nose does not smell pleasant. And when you have something unpleasant, the thing you want to do the most with it is completely cover your nose with it. Here, Chie, your turn. Man. All right, fine. How did it come to this? Yukiko-san? Hello? There goes one of Yukiko's laughing fits. I never thought she'd do it when someone besides me was around. These stupid glasses are useless for investigating. I mean, what the hell's this nose for anyways? Nice work, huh? That's what happens when you guys leave me here alone and I get bored. Alright, so Teddy can't be left well, unintended. Glad that she's in high spirits again, I guess. Chie, the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. I can't. <laughs> oh, oh, my stomach. <laughs> I feel like she is about to push Yukiko into a TV right about now. She's like, You're laughing at me. You decided to go back for today. Glad Yukiko has cheered up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it would take a bit longer to recover from going missing in another world and almost dying, but, you know, you see Chie with some silly glasses and you're like, all right, I'm back to normal. Really? What, you don't believe me? It's always canceled. Um, not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Really? <laughs> Can we go on a trip? Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip! Hmm. All right, all right. Then we need to think of some place to go. How about you? I feel like if Dochima goes on a trip, he's going to discover another body. Let's say I want to come. You know, let's yeah. try to fit in, build up the social links. So I feel like Dojima is just gonna find a body and then just do like a side episode. You'll be going on an outing with the Dojimas during the long holiday. Because what I've learned so far is that Dojima never gets a day off. He's always working, always got some case to solve. A vacation is not gonna end that. Crime doesn't take a vacation, and neither does Dojima. That's what we get this guy for, huh, Nanako? Yay! Bot lunches. 
Nanakos, please. He gets really excited for some weird things. You've been selected to pack the family's box of lunches. You hit a lunch in a box, you take her to a grocery store, and she's like having the time of her life. So let's go ahead and save. Talk to Dojima. A vacation, huh? Shall we make reservations now? I feel like it's gonna get cancelled, so I wanna get too ahead of yourself. <laughs> vacation, vacation, I can't wait. Alright, so let's go ahead and go upstairs. And so we'll continue reading for tonight. The sofa looks nice for some reading. What shall you do? Let's go ahead and read a book. So all we get left right now is the lovely man. You begin reading the lovely man. I'm glad they made a book about me. Every chapter begins, all men have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves. This spirit of true manhood transcends space and time, and all people, of all cultures and genders, feel its call. You feel more like a real man than ever before. There's still some pages of the lovely man left. You decide to save them to read next time. Who knew all you need to do was read a book? All right, so that's going to wrap it up for today. And that actually brings us to the end of the first month of gameplay. Now, we start on the 11th, so it's not a full month that we've played so far. But it's interesting to start a new month in the game. So we'll see what's in store moving forward. But, you know, I've been enjoying it so far. Hopefully we get more story, like conversation, continuing the journey rather than just, you know, after school event, read, conclude the day. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.